All right, all right, Shalom. This is Brother Daniel Allah coming back again with another video. Uh, I believe this will be the first video of the uh, of the week. And uh, first off, I want to go give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Arachakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect, teaching this word and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. All right, so. Lord willing, you know, through the Spirit, this will be a uh, a quick video um, on the subject of, of speaking in tongues, okay? So, uh, uh, here, and I'm going to be coming off of the uh, 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 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, all right? And I'm going to just start at 1, and I'm going to jump down to verse 10. It says, now concerning uh, spiritual gifts, brethren, uh, I would not have you ignorant. All right, so talking about the different gifts that you receive through the Holy Spirit, okay? Through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Which is talking about uh, uh, how we became foreigners uh, to the commonwealth of Israel. And foreigners, uh, uh, you know, uh, foreigners to, to, to uh, our nationality. Okay, being carried away unto dumb idols even as you were led. All right, worshiping these other gods and going into the ways of the heathens and becoming like unto them, but originally being Israelites. All right. Um, it says, Therefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of the Most High calleth, calleth uh, Yahweh Shai a curse, and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is Lord but by the Holy Spirit. All right, and a good example of that uh, was uh, 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 in the book of Matthews. Uh, I forget what the chapter escapes me at the moment, but uh, how Peter, how Yahweh Shai asks, you know, who who do you say I am? And Peter hops up and say, I believe that you are the Anointed. All right, Hamashiach, the Son of of the Most High. Right. Yeah, well, Shai basically said, you know, basically saying, uh, 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 flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my father who, which, which, who are in heaven. All right. So he was only able to, to, to say that Yahweh Shai was the savior and was the son of the Most High through the spirit of the Most High. Okay. But, uh, so like, I'm getting a little off track, but let me hop down here to stay on subject. Uh, you know, these are different spiritual gifts, all right? Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 10. It says, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, discerning of spirits, to another, diverse kinds of tongues. So different kinds of tongues. Now, you know, uh, uh, in these wacky, uh, these wacky, tacky Christians and these, these Christian churches, they they lead people into believing that that the these different uh, uh, syllables that they throw together, you know, on the spot and the, this uh, mumbo jumbo that they speak, you know, like whole show, bow show, common low show, you know, this mumbo jumbo that they speak. They say that that's speaking in tongues, when really it's not, okay? Because these wacky tacky Christians, you know, is you know, is either they know. Uh, certain things about the scriptures, right? Not the whole thing, but certain things, and they're, they're keeping it from you, right? In these churches, or they don't know anything at all, you know. And uh, here I'm gonna get a quick scripture on that, cause they they do err in not knowing the scriptures and the power of the Most High. They don't, you know, they don't have the true understanding of the scriptures. So let me uh, let me get that real quick. <clears throat> Let me get that. This is going to be Matthews 22. And I'm going to come back to that scripture. Right? This is going to be Matthews 22. And let's see. I'm going to have to go through it. Subscription. 
This is Matthew 22 and 29. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. Right? And he was saying this to the uh, the Sadducees that came to him, you know, who said that there was no uh, resurrection, as in there was no, uh, uh, how would you say, life after death, as in your spirit being raised into the spiritual realm. So that's the doctrine that they were pushing, and this is what Yahweh Shai said to them. It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. So, same thing that goes for these different wacky tacky Christians, you know? They they do err in not knowing the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, uh, Salakia, not knowing the scriptures, okay? Because here we're going to go into it. When you go into the word tongues, right? It's going to be going into the Greek because the New Testament was translated into the Greek. So here, let's go back to it. 1 Corinthians 12 and 10. I'm going to get that part. Diverse kinds of tongue. Diverse meaning different. All right. Different kinds, different types of tongues. All right. And let's get that word for tongues. That it be G11001100. All right. The word there, as you can see. The transliteration says, uh, uh, Salakia, the, f the phonetic, meaning how it's pronounced, is uh, glossa, right? That's the Greek word, for, uh, glossa. And here we're going to look at the second definition. Uh, it says a tongue, and it breaks it down. It says, a language or dialect used by a particular people distinct from that of other nations, right? So, it's a language. That's all it means, right? Different types of languages, right? And you can see uh, different examples of that through, uh, um, you know, the different brothers in the, in the camps throughout the world who speak different languages. Some brothers speak uh, like, uh, uh, like Elder Apostle Kabar speaks Italian, does, the, you know, pushes the, the word in Italian. Same thing with uh, Elder Apostle Ryamla pushes the word in, uh, um, in uh, Spanish. Right? So this is what it means by different, you know, diverse kinds of tongues. All right? You know, not that mumbo jumbo that they're speaking in these, 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 these wacky tacky churches. All right? Right? It says diverse kinds of tongues to another. The interpretation of tongues, right? So being able to uh, uh, interpret or, or, or understand, you know, these different languages. Right? So that word glossa, and here we're going to run it through a another, uh, 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 how would you say, it? information, like, a, like another dictionary, let's put it that way, right? So what I'm going to do here, you know, just for edification's sake, I'm going to copy these, these, um, these Greek characters, and I'm going to go here to my... Google Translate app, right? And it's going to say the same thing, you know? Uh, let me see here. Greek. Switch that. All right. So you see the same characters I used there. You type in the Google Translate. What does it say? Language. That's all it means. Diverse kinds of tongues. Diverse kinds of languages. All right. And, and, and with that, you even have different terms. All right. That uh, uh, different English terms, let me say, that uses that Greek, that Greek uh, base, glossa, meaning language, right, to make uh, different terms in English, you know. And um, just as, you know, the elders always teach us is that we, we need to look up different words, right? We need to get into different, you know, get into the Greek, into the Hebrew, into the Latin in order to understand the scriptures, all right? So let me see here. Uh, there's a term called, uh, polyglossia, all right? Poly Polyglossia, right? The word poly meaning multiple, 
okay, or, or, or many, and then and glossia, coming from glossa in the Greek, meaning tongues, okay, it says, uh, poly polyglossia is a noun that refers to the coexistence of multiple languages or distinct varieties of the same language, just like the, 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 uh, uh, the definition we got in, in, in the Strong's, okay? It says, uh, or distinct varieties of the same language in other societies or area. It was first used in the in 1970s in the academic journal International Migrational Review, right? So different types of languages, languages uh, that, that other nations use. Okay, right, um, you know, and even on top of that, they have a, a language learning program, letting you know that the word that's used there for tongues, which is glossa, right, is, is, is just means language, that's all it means, okay, so, uh, 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 and, you know, this language learning program is called, uh, it's called glossica, right, let you know is dealing with languages. It's a language learning program. And just so you know, I'm not making this up. You can look that up. You know. And 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 it's uh is 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 you know, and our people, man, they're so they're so ignorant, you know, that they they actually believe that the mumble jumble that they're talking about is you know it's real right they actually believe these different pastors all right um you know and b before i get that let's just because the you know these different pastors they basically you know they they don't provide any any wisdom or any benefit to our people they just take their money right they you know uh, some of the members they sleep around with their with their women all right you know, and they they make it out to be that you know that they're, they're, that there's some uh, uh, righteous prophet of the Most High, right? Which hey, <clears throat> let's get that. They are they are prophets of the Most High. They've been set up to do the left hand stuff of the Most High. So let me see here. Uh, let me get this. The the C. Let's make sure I'm spelling that right. C. Bear with me for a second. Oh, no. really hate when I can't find uh, let me see here Spelling that wrong. Salakia. Horrible speller. So I'm gonna look it up here on Google then.
All right, this is um, this is uh, Job chapter 12, verse 16. It says, with him is strength and wisdom. All right, the deceived and the deceiver are his. All right, so the person who's deceiving the people, all right, who, who are deceiving our people, which are these different pastors and, uh, and, and, and leaders of these different religions, that lead our people away into believing them, and the deceiver, such so, so like it, the deceived, which would be uh, uh, those of our people who, who who believe in these lies, okay, and the deceiver, those who are doing the deceiving, all right. In this case, these different church pastors are his, right? So they are 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 are, are, are the most highs, okay. Yahweh Bashim Shah has them set up, okay. Because the Lord controls both sides, right? He has them set up. He has these pastors set up to deceive people, all right? False prophets and and, and these these uh, people who are being deceived, all right? And that's why they believe in the, you know them speaking that mumbo jumbo in these churches, okay? So that being said, uh, just gonna. Let me just look this up. I just, you know, I just, I just thought this was interesting, you know, uh, 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 going into the the, the, the word uh, uh, gloss, glossa in the Greek and how it means languages, and then uh, seeing that uh, uh, I'm into uh, language learning, you know, through the Spirit. Uh, this is one of the, the language learning apps that, you know, uh, people can use in order to learn how to speak different languages. Okay, so this, uh, as you can see here, the name of this this uh, this program is called Glossica, right? Glossica, right? And as you can see, that root there, glossy, means language. Okay, and what is this? A language learning program. Okay, you know the the you know. The languages you use to communicate with other people, right? So that's what that, that is what uh, is meant by diverse kinds of tongues, all right? The spiritual gift of being able to speak in diverse kinds of tongues, okay? And, uh, you know, that being said, you know, just, you know, a quick video through the spirit. Uh, once again, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Arachak, Wadash, and double honors to the elders, apostles. Of great millstone and shalom to all the hopeful elect brethren teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.